Ronald, wake up right now and get ready for school. I don't want to have to drag you out of bed again so hurry up and get down here or you're so grounded. Now come on and get up. Okay okay nature cat. You don't have to yell. I'm coming. Oh no, I'm going to miss the bus. Oh no 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 no, the bus is leaving without me. Art. Oh my god, I can't believe I just spent so long chasing the bus here. I'm probably late and will get in trouble again. Great, now to get an earful of my teacher screaming at me. Bug. Bug. I'm so going to hate this boring and long the first day of school, full of mindless idiots. Nice of you to finally show up Ronald. You do realize that you are an hour and 30 minutes late for your first day of school, right? For this, I am afraid I'm going to have to give you detention today. Yeah, yeah whatever. I've heard this a million times before. I'm late, I get in trouble, I get detention, blah blah blah. I suggest you shut yourself up and stop those disrespectful remarks and get to your seat right now before I extend your detention time. Ugh, fine, I'm going. Ugh, this is the worst day ever. Not only did I miss the bus and get an earful from Mr. Harrington, but we are going to have our usual lockdown drills today. I wish I can get revenge on my stupid teacher for always yelling at me and my stupid classmates that always ruin things for me. But what if? What could possibly be a good revenge plan? Oh my god. I just, I just came up with a brilliant, brilliant plan, lockdown. lockdown. Since we are going to have a lockdown drill today, why not scare them all by thinking we are actually having one? Ronald, you're a genius. Now to ask Mr. Harrington if I could use the bathroom. I know I've used this excuse before, but this time I'll try to be as convincing as possible. Ha ha ha. Um, excuse me Mr. Harrington, can I ask you something? What is it Ronald? What could it possibly be that's so important this time? Let me guess, the bathroom. Right? Typical excuse, I'd thought you'd actually come up with a better one. But Mr. Harrington, I really need to go this time, and I'm not joking. If you don't let me go to the bathroom, I'm just going to pee all over this shit. Either you let me go, or this. Ugh, alright, fine. You better hurry up though. I'm giving you five minutes. If you aren't back by then, I'm giving you another detention. Okay, thank you Mr. Harrington. Ha 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 ha, I can't believe he actually fell for it this time. Now to put my plan into action, I must make it look as I'm not suspicious though. Ah, it feels good to have the day where I've had no students to suspend or talk to today. Finally, some peace and quiet. Oh god, I don't feel so good. I knew I should have hit the Starbucks so many times before coming here. Oh shit 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 holy fuck. It looks like the office is empty. Yes. I saw the principal running down the hallway so it looks like he's going to be doing something for a while. Now to my plan into action. Now for the hardest part, changing my vocal cords to sound like the principal devarity. Well, here we go. Ugh. Pulling and reorganizing my vocal cord shoulders hurt a lot. Well, at least I have the same voice as the principal gathered. Now, to begin my master plan. Attention everyone. This is not a drill. I repeat. This is not a drill. There are three gun men outside and they are trying to break into the school. Teachers lock your doors and everyone outside of the classroom to find a room immediately. Oh no, the gunmen heading into the building. Everyone hurry, they'll be coming right now. Oh no. Oh my god. One of them are coming into my office. Oh no. Why? <laughs> oh my god. I did it. I created a fake lockdown, and now the whole school is terrified. Now I'd better get out before someone sees me. Ronald, 
What are you doing in the hallway? Didn't you hear that there was a lockdown in progress? Hurry, we have to get into the classroom. Bronto. Come on. Okay, Mr. Harrington. Everyone, quickly. Now we have the same area, and everyone cover down while I'll cover the windows. It's okay everyone. Just come and we'll wait for any upcoming alerts. Whatever you do, don't talk, and remember to stay still and make as little noise as in any possible. This is the police. Open up. Sir, I'm Officer Danny, and this is Officer Robert. We are looking for someone with the purple cat by the name of Ronald the Cat. Um, I. You! Over there with the cat head. We believe you're the one we are looking for. Come with us right now. Have a seat. So I was in the bathroom, and apparently someone favoringly and announced to the whole school that there was a lockdown, that proved to be fails upon examination by the police. Not only that, but I checked the security footage right before the incident happened, and it looks to be new in my office. It's a true? Without a doubt. Daddy did this. Tell me right now. And I mean right now. Um, 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 um. Yes I did. But I did it because I'm tired of my teacher always yelling at me and the other kids always ruining my day. How fake do you create a fake lockdown? This is not a joke or prank. You cause a serious damage and now most in this school is traumatic because of you. That is so it. I'm calling your parents and you're suspended, suspended, suspended for eight months. Yes, hello? Who is this? I am your own Purple Cat's principal, Principal Gavrit. I'm calling you to let you know that your bad cat has done something extremely bad when he's suspended for eight months. What? Oh my god, what did he do this time? Your cat pretended to be me and created a fake lockdown that put the entire school in a state of panic and now everyone is traumatic. There are ambulances and police everywhere. He did what? Oh 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 I can't believe it, that fucking idiot bad cat troublemaker. I'm coming to the school right away. The cat is coming to pick you up. Be prepared for lots of yelling. Ronald. Words cannot even begin to describe the disappointment and anger that rages through me because of such a foolish and dangerous thing you did. Let's go home right now. Ronald the Cat, how fucking dare you create the fake lockdown? This is nothing to joke about. There were so many ambulances and police outside because students are severely traumatized to the point where they have to be hospitalized. You have caused such a waste of time and major damage to the school and the people in it. This is, by far, the worst thing you have ever done. For this, you are so grounded, 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 grounded until the second coming of Christ. Now go to your room right now, 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 now